Hi, and welcome to a bonus episode of Barbie Dolls of the Week this week. This marks number 60. 60 videos. Boy, that sounds like a lot when you think about it. I can't believe it's been that many, and we're almost to two years. So, woohoo! <laughs> we're going to celebrate this 60th video by showing a doll that I've already shown once before, and that's this one. Who knows the name of this doll? That is, of course, Hollywood Nails Barbie. And like I said, I've shown her before. But the reason I'm showing her again is because I have recently been able to get two of her cohorts. So, um, I showed this one on the back here. Uh, let's see if I can get the right one. Teresa. And remember I said I was going to debox her. Well, here she is. Now, I've had that Barbie since they came out uh, a long time ago, but I've not had Teresa before. So, and her hair is still in the plastic. This is what her outfit looks like up close, by the way. It's got this um, uh, outer dress, so to speak, that's darker colored. It's kind of all bunched up at the waist, so I was trying to pull it up to see what that would look like, but it doesn't seem to want to go over her breast But um, Anyway, uh, the bigger, bigger qualm is getting this. I don't know why they put this in her hair, but um, I'm going to see if it'll just come out. And the answer is no, it will not just come out. For some reason, they have her hair almost sewed to the top of this fuzzy sweater thing. So I'm going to have to somehow get that out without destroying the sweater. I think it needs a scissors. Let me try that for a minute. I happen to have a pair of scissors handy. You never know when you might need one. I'm going to cut this little string back here and see if that helps. Uh, it's still not coming out. This is really weird. I have personally, I've never seen anything like this. Um, at least that got it off the sweater. If it was actually on the sweater, I couldn't tell. But yeah, it's still not coming out. I got a piece of it out. Well, anyway, I'll deal with this later. But I just wanted to show you this um, pretty doll. I mean, she's got a really pretty face. I've never been a huge fan of the cut across bangs like that, but. In this case, it's okay. Um, her hair is also really pretty short for a doll. Um, or most dolls are not this short. So anyway, that's the Teresa doll. Also, by the way, I like her lipstick nice and dark. And if you pull the hair back from her face, you get an even better look at her face in the colors. Okay, so that's Teresa. And... Oh, and her shoes. I forgot to show you her shoes. They have really kind of tall heel or high heels and, um, you know, like glittery shoes. And, of course, don't forget the really flexible bodies on these that a lot of people really like. Of course, I like the flexibility. I just like when you can't see the joints. And in these dolls, they're covered, so that works. Okay, so then today, and I got this for $2.99 on eBay, plus $10 and some change for shipping, which was a little high, I thought. But hey, if I'm only going to pay $2.99 for the doll, I can do that. This is the last one in that three-part series, which is Christy. Hollywood Nails Christy. Now, you know what I just noticed that's weird is look at the back of this box. Nothing about the other two dolls, right? Well, I wonder why that is, because on the back of this one it sure had it. And that should be on the back of all of them, so I don't know why it's like that. Oh, you know, it says, uh, I just noticed this, by the way, mix and match our hip fashion looks. And so then they show each doll with three different looks of what you can do with that loose piece uh, or the other piece. Uh, of clothing. So anyway, that's kind of um, the 
back here. Okay, back to Christy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open her because that's why I bought her to open her. And the box is kind of beat up anyway. The cellophane has got a hole in it. Okay, so here's what she looks like without the box. Of course, you can get a much better view. Now, I probably wouldn't have picked this mustardy yellow. Oh, and you know what? She does not have the glittery shoes. It's just solid yellow. That's really weird. I mean, the box is different, and now the shoes are the only one of the three that's different. That's, I don't understand that, but okay. Um, on the back, by the way, they have um, something for the nails here. Or people's snails, kids. And I'm going to see if I can quickly get her off this with these twist ties. Oops, there goes something. Let's see what it was. Um, it's a little bottle of some gross looking liquid. <laughs> this is, I'm assuming that was full at one time. Now it looks like vampire's blood. Uh, so, strange. Um... Yeah, I don't think, this one didn't seem to have anything like that, the Teresa, so. Anyway, let's continue on. Hopefully nothing else with blood drips out or falls out. This is weird. It's like, okay, it's not Halloween yet, guys. Why is it acting strange? This is why I generally don't debox on video, because it does take a little bit of time. Um, but I'm going to try this because there's not that many things to take off. If I can get her hair out of here, that's the tricky part. Uh, I'm not that interested in saving this box. The doll is pretty much out except her hair. So let's just take that off. Okay, that's the easy way to do it. Um, there is still some things on her, like little twist ties, so I'm going to take those off her. Okay. But, you know, um, that's going to take some cutting, too. Boy, I don't like when they did that. They didn't do that a whole lot. I don't remember it being like that. But when it is, and you've got the hair really caught, oh, my gosh, it's a pain. And one of her shoes came off with it. Okay, shoo, finally. Let's get this extra stuff off of her hair. Okay. So, still some work to do on these two's hair, but at least... Here's a little closer view of the shoe, by the way. This is some cl clodhopper shoes. Okay, let me put this on her foot and see if it likes to stay. Okay, so that's what they look like. They're okay. I mean, they're not my favorite, that's for sure. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. Does anyone know if this doll was added later or something? Because look, this isn't a flexible doll. Her legs don't even bend. Her arms don't bend. What is the deal with that? That is very strange, unless... I wonder if there were two different ones. Let me see this. Yeah, because the one in the picture shows bent arms. I'm thinking there are two different ones of these, and I got some other one. Boy, I'm a little disappointed that this isn't the exact same doll as what's in the... Um, oh, wait a minute. This doll's hair is coming off. That thing is coming off pretty easily, and it only took a few strands with it. Let's see about this second one. Okay, that was pretty easy. At least at least that's the case. Oh, and she's got that hair that's kind of really flighty. Well, this is just... What do you got? I mean, surely someone knows the deal with this. There must have been two versions of this, because, yeah, these, these don't bend. She's nothing like these other two, except the outfit. It's like they ran out of the dolls and then they put a different doll in with it so it's a little disappointing I have to say but maybe that's why it was $2.99 because it's not the same doll 
Um, so I'm just curious, does anyone know if there is a flexible version of this, like what's pictured on the back of that Teresa box? Anyway, I'm glad I have her, but like I said, it's a little disappointing. Um, but I'm glad to have the whole set now, because this is the first time in all these years that I do have all of them. And here's what they look like together. It's like the new Charlie's Angels or something. Let me get her arm where it's supposed to be. Okay, so that's those three. And then I have one other doll I want to show you today in this bonus episode. I got this. I rarely ever get to Toys R Us. There's not one real close to me. I mean, it's fairly close, but not real close. And I just don't have a reason to go that often. But the other day I was off work, and I decided to go up and see what was there. And look what I found. I'll give you a hint. It's one of these dolls. Yes, that's right. It's this one, which I the minute I saw her, I knew I wanted to have this doll. Because it's a very interesting Asian doll face or mold or doll mold face mold whatever you want to call it um, now of course she's got the flexible arms and that's good but she doesn't have the flexible legs I mean you can see here I think they're just the straight legs that don't bend um, and I knew that going in because somebody on another video I saw had mentioned that when they were reviewing this doll I still think it was worth getting. This was $14.99 plus tax. Um, and I probably won't get these other two in this series. But I definitely wanted this one. I do like her outfit, by the way. I, I think, and I can't quite tell, but I think it's a one-piece deal. Um, her necklace is okay. Uh, she's got what looks like a little bottle of perfume, and I'm thinking that's a cell phone, maybe. Uh, let's see what else do I see a purse a jacket you can see the jacket right here and the purse you can kind of see that down here it's kind of a pink with black trim or magenta with black trim um, it shows you a picture since you can't really see it of of the shoes they're kind of silvery. Let me see. Oh, well, you know, you can see them from the side. I forgot. Kind of, sort of. So, um, yeah, I, I will probably debox this doll, but I'm not sure right now. And um, add her to my collection of Asian dolls right there. Or at least that's most of them. I think she's really pretty. I really like this. Um, and it's a more... I think it's somewhat more realistic looking than some of the other face molds in the past. So with that, I'm going to close. But I hope you've enjoyed the 60th anniversary or 60th episode of Barbie Dolls of the Week. Take care.